Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a little tutorial with the products from this mini collection from Benefit. This is the Benefit Beauty Stowaways. Stowaways? I don't know, English is not my first language so... Stowaways? Just this thing. <laughs> and this is a little package with five uh, Benefit Cosmetics product in it. One full size, um, precisely my brow pencil, and four minis the Roller Lash, the Gimme Brow, the Hula Bronzer, and the Professional Primer. Um, so I did a little look with it and tried out all of these products to let you guys know what I thought of this box. So if you want to see um, how it was and how it went, uh, please keep on watching and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Bye bye! So let's jump into it you guys. Um, I have the package right here. I already opened it and got all of the products out. I really like the outside packaging of it. Um, I like that it has like everyone on the cover here and on the back it has everyone's separate picture with the uh, product which they want to be like associated with or found with on like a lost desert island. But I have all of the products right here. These are the products. Let's just start out with the professional primer. I'm just going to be taking some onto my finger and then apply it. So first I'm just going to be applying this to my cheekbones and my nose because that is where I have my larger pores. It blends out so far. Whoa. It makes my skin feel really, really smooth, like kind of like velvety. Oh, this makes my skin feel really, really smooth, kind of like velvety, like I already said. I really like it. And I can also kind of like see like a blurring effect almost, which it had on like my forehead. And also here, because that is normally the region where I have my largest pores, and here I have mostly like blackheads and all of that. But so that is the professional primer. I'm really curious to see how the rest of my face makeup will be applying now. So let's just jump right into it. I'm going to be using my uh, Bobbi Brown foundation. This is working really well. Okay, so I see no difference there. I did have that the other day when I used the uh, Maybelline Cosmetics uh, Master Primer, the color correction one. When I applied my foundation, I had no pigment anymore from my foundation stick. So I was really confused. I thought that maybe like my foundation stick had dried up or something, but it's still working. So this primer is shite. It does not work. It messed up my whole foundation routine, so don't buy this one. <laughs> So right now I'm just going to be blending out my foundation with the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. So my foundation applied just as smooth as this would normally work. But now I'm going to be taking my MAC Cosmetics concealer and apply a lot on all of the spots which I have now. So taking that I'm going to be taking a little concealer brush and placing it on my spots like this and now I'm going to be tapping this in with the Sigma brush So then now that I have my face covered and I'm feeling confident again, I'm going to be warming up my face with the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette. And I'm just going to be contouring a little bit around my forehead and my cheekbones. And so again going in with that same Sigma brush.
Now to set my face I'm going to be using the MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Powder. So up to the next product I'm going to be using the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. And with the brush that comes with this little kit, I really like these brushes, they're so soft and they're really nice. I'm going to be applying some bronzer on the parts which I just try to like contour and darken up a bit. Picking up some of the products. Let me just see. Ooh, that's really pretty. And this brush is also really really great to like sculpt up those to sculpt out those cheekbones. Um, for my cheekbones, I'm going to be using a different brush to blend this out because I feel like I'm uh, picking up some of the foundation coverage which I had going on. So I'm going to be taking a MAC cosmetic brush and just blend this out a bit. So I'm really surprised by this bronzer because I'm normally always used to having bronzes that are like too orange for my skin tone and I thought obviously because it's like a package meant for everybody that the bronzer would be too orange for my skin but I really really like it I did think that the brush was um, not really for me to blend my contour with on my cheeks because it was picking up some of that extra extra coverage which I had going on underneath it but I think that if you have like a normal type of face with not too much acne or redness that it's really good as well so next up to the eyebrows, I am going to be taking the full size, okay, okay, <laughs> I thought that with full size they meant like this, so also with a spoolie, but it's just only a pencil, so you don't get a spoolie with it, I'm surprised, really surprised, and it's also a plastic instead of now this is probably plastic as well, but this, like, the full size which you buy in the store is more kind of like metallic and this one is just kind of like silverish, so... Okay, I will use this spoolie then. <laughs> so first I'm just kind of pushing up my eyebrows. And then I'm just going to be lightly filling them in with the pencil. I'm so, so used to flipping it over and having a brush though. <laughs> so this is one eyebrow done, so now on to the next. So now I'm just going to be blending it with the spoolie. I'm not always the best at doing my eyebrows with just like a pencil. I'm so used to working with powders and like promates and only using a pencil to like fill in a bit of like the blank spots precisely. So not the best eyebrow day today. I guess we're just going to have to leave it at this. So um, the pencil it's always great. I use it a lot in like my everyday routine as well. I do really like the color of it as well. It's a bit more to the um, ash brown blonde type of side, but it still works great. So I'm really liking this. So now onto the gimme brows. This is also in the color theory. So let's see what this will do. Oh, this is great you guys whoa I'm really surprised by it this makes your eyebrows like so bushy and I love it it's great wow I'm really surprised by it I didn't think that it would like um, pick on all of my eyebrow hairs like that well but it looks really really good okay so I'm just bringing it down a little bit it shouldn't be too bushy I really really like this I'm going to get the full size of this I'm sold you guys wow I'm going to get a full size of this one, you guys. This looks really great. I normally use my MAC Cosmetics um, brow set in clear, which I really like as well. But I always notice, though, that throughout the day, my hairs will just go in the same direction, which they always tend to go in. And I always like them to be a bit more and more, like, uplifting. And 
yeah, a little bit more bold. So this looks really great. I'm really curious to see like how this would hold up through the rest of the day, but I have like great expectations for it now. Now I'm just going to be carving out my eyebrows a little bit. So for that I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette and taking the lightest concealer shade. And I'm just taking it down and also placing some on my eyelids for a bit of an eyelid primer. So now I'm just going to be taking a MAC uh, 132 brush and blending this out. And just setting this with some um, of my foundation powder. Now I'm just quickly going to be doing some sort of like a normal type of everyday um, eye makeup. So I'm not really going to be going into depth on that one but let me pull it out i'm going to be using my modern renaissance palette just because i really like the brown neutral shades which it has in there so first off i'm going to be taking my raw sienna eyeshadow from this palette Now I'm just taking up some of the taupe eyeshadow and placing it on the outer inner corner. And also applying that to the lower lash line. And also applying a bit to the lower lash line and just blend it all. Next up I'm going to be taking a little synthetic brush and going into the Primavera eyeshadow. I'm just going to be applying it on the inner two thirds of my eyes and taking up some of the Vermeer eyeshadow I'm just placing a little bit of an inner corner highlight you gotta look fresh when you're rescued off of your island <laughs> like this you guys so this is kind of like the simple eye look which I'm doing today now we're on to mascara. Unfortunately, it's already like the last product of the box, but oh, I want so much more now. <laughs> so, like this, you guys, um, I'm going to be adding a little bit more of the Hula Bronzer. So, just taking some up onto a brush, and I'm just going to be laying it down right here. Again, taking a different brush to blend it out. Next up, I'm going to be applying some false lashes. And these are the Ardell ones. I don't know which style they are, actually. But... Now, to kind of like finish off this bronzy look, I'm going to be applying some highlighter. And for that, I'm taking the MAC Cosmetics Soft and Gentle. Now, last step for the lips, I'm going to be um, taking one of these um, cream lip stains by Sephora. My dad got me these ones as well. And this is in number 39. So, this is the lip stain from Sephora. I think it's a really, really pretty color. It's kind of like a mix between the uh, Jeffree Star Floor Liquid Lipstick in... Uh, dominatrix and leo i really like leo but it's just still a bit too much like an orange type of color and this is kind of like a grayish brown also kind of like purple tones in it i'm not really sure but i love it and it's also it just feels really really soft on my lips not drying at all so hmm, i really like it so that is it for this video you guys um, if you can buy this at your local Sephora definitely do I really like it even though I already had like two products from this box um, I still really like trying these ones out and I think that the rest of the products are all great I think I'm going to buy them all like in full size as well um, so yeah I really really like this I also like the concept of it what benefit did with it so 
huge huge recommendation for everybody so if you guys like this video please give it a, a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below that if you ever were to go to like a deserted island where there were no people you were all alone and you get to bring one beauty product not sunscreen because that's already there just you know just like a beauty product please let me know in the comments down below because i'm really curious to find out what yours is um and i will see you guys in the next video Bye-bye.